guys and welcome back. Here we have the engine and some hoses and hard pipes as you can see. <laughs> I've gone for SFS hoses, um, went to the Japfest car show, saw some awesome cars, went to see, uh, actually saw Marty there as well. Got a picture of Marty at the show so I'll try and put that in the video somewhere. And uh, yeah, basically, um, as you can see, hard pipe and hoses. I also have a little special something to show you at the end, which is fantastic. A little uh, sneak peek, so to speak. Um, I've gone for Samco hoses for these. They're the 60ml high temperature stuff. You can tell it's high temperature because it's got the red stuff inside it. Now, Samco call this stuff um, Samco Extreme Performance or something. Um, but yeah, basically the Extreme Performance stuff has the 250 degrees top temperature. So that's fantastic. This stuff here only has 175, um, but seeing as it's touching the turbo directly, I thought that would be a safe bet. Ideally, I should have put some of this stuff on that one as well, um, but it, I can't imagine it melting it that far away, <laughs> to be honest. And hopefully it's not that hot anyway. If it is, then I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, anyway, as you can see here, I've also cut, um, had a hard pipe, which is a 45 degree hard pipe. I've cut that into, um, well, a bit shorter length to be honest, and uh, that's been put in here. Now it's slightly bent too much, it comes round too much, you can kind of see the angle. Um, what I need to do really is cut this hose back a little bit, and then bring this pipe back and pull it so it's more kind of this way and then that way. Um, I'll do it later today, I'll just get it in place really today just to make sure that fits. But you can see the end of the pipe is just literally just behind there and just here, so I've got plenty of room to manoeuvre it back as a forward skate in the right position. Um, I could get custom pipes bent, but I really don't want to spend the extra money. <laughs> you know, it, it's costing a lot currently, all this stuff. So I'm trying to be cautious with my money and save it for more important stuff. Uh, that'll work for the time being, anyway. Um, dump valve, what's going to be put here? I also have the dump valve here, and then route this back um, for a recirculating system back into the air filter, or just behind the air filter. Um, but that has changed, that plan has changed, and I'll show you why a bit later. Uh, but what I'm actually going to use this one for is to feed air into the system here. So that'll be the idle um, air, basically. That's the idle control valve. So that'll be running, basically, more or less like that. Down here, it'll be clipped onto this um, bolt, which is actually missing. Um, I'll, have, I'll make a little bracket for that just to hold it in, in place and then that will come down the side here there's just enough space for it down there so that's fine and it'll run down here and I'll probably attach it to this pipe somehow and bring it round there so that's solved that one which is quite a nice little solution <laughs> they're quite relieved in hindsight I could have got a 70mm um, to a 22 degrees reducer and that would have fit that perfectly uh, I might still do that depending, but there's actually a difference in height between that one there. This one's about 10 mil, well, no, not 10 mil, maybe about 8 mil higher than the intake there, so it does go down as well as bending around. Um, but I think a, bit of, a clever bit of um, bending of this tube here, getting the right position, would be absolutely fantastic. Um, these hard pipes over here, as you can see, two of them, they're just brushed aluminium. And they've got the. Um, also for it, flange. Uh, I don't know. It's got a bead, yeah. The bead around here, basically, just to hold it in place. Um, I'm basically, to clamp those down, and that's sorted. As it turns out, two thirty, three hundred millimeter lengths were absolutely perfect. <laughs> As you can see down there, it fits absolutely fantastic. This position, I've actually held it in with some rubber strap currently, but that is a fantastic position. I don't know if you can see, but down here, there's actually. Um, no, you can't really see. Oh, you can there. There's actually a bolt. And there's one a bit further down here, so I'm actually going to use that and make a bracket which comes down and straight into there, and that's going to hold the air filter. And as you can see, the air filter sits lovely. <laughs> I mean, it's absolutely perfect. Really can't complain. There's plenty enough room there for an oil cooler. So, that is absolutely fantastic. I cannot complain one bit. Fantastic. Um, there's a reducer, as you've seen before. That's the 80 to 60. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 70. Really simple. <laughs> so that's fantastic. Now, 
the postman arrived today and gave me a little goodie. Where'd I put him? Ah, here we are. So give me a second. I'm going to hide it. Oh, have a guess what it could be. Have a guess. Right, here we are. La. Yes. My HKS SSQV4. Happy days. Really, really, really happy with it. Absolute little beauty. Uh, can't wait to get it all installed. Uh, I've got also have the brackets for it over there as well, and a bag of goodies for all the stuff and the instructions and all that kind of jazz. Um, but basically, this fella, I have wanted one of these for so long, I can't tell you. And I've actually finally got it. Basically, this is going to be mounted on that pipe, hard pipe. I'm not having it on that one, it's just not enough space. I'm actually going to have it next to the turbo. Um, some people say have it next to the intake, some people have it next to the turbo. My reasoning is this thing is meant to protect the turbo, so I'm going to put it next to the turbo. <laughs> so when the air gets pushed back, it gets released. Um, that's the way I think about it. Um, hopefully that's the right thing to do. I've checked online. Lots and lots of people have said that, you know, stick in there, stick in there, stick in there, stick in there. It doesn't make much difference, I don't think. Um, so anyway, for ease of use, I'm going to stick it on this side, which also means it's very close to this recirculating. Now, I'm not going to recirculate it straight off. Uh, I'm going to have it venting that atmosphere and see how that goes. Um, if I have to, I can then have it recirculating into this pipe. I just need to get welded a little basically tube into there so I can recirculate from it. Now, the next question is, I don't really want to have it hidden. Also, I think that's probably going to fill full of oil, and that probably isn't a good thing. So I'm going to have to have it mounted on top somehow. And I'm not quite sure which way is the best way of doing it. Um, any ideas, let me know. I haven't really got a clue yet. I need to sit down really and have a little think about it. That, in my opinion, is way too close to the turbo. Um, this barb here needs to go to that hose <laughs> or to a hose on the other side. Uh, actually, the front body's over there, so that's probably the best place for it to take it straight over there. So, having it this way probably is the best bet. I can run a tube down along there onto it. Um, maybe, I'm not sure yet. But that's basically the gist of it anyway. Um, Right, space. As you can see, the bonnet actually level is actually quite high to it, so I'm not well, quite low to it. Yeah, so I might have to literally mount it very close to the edge. Um, yeah, not sure yet. So anyway, anyway, if you have any advice or any ideas, kind of let me know, and uh, we'll figure out best place, best best place to put it. Be fantastic. Um, yes, yeah, so there we are. A bit of an update for you. A new toy, which I love. Looks nice. <laughs> um, more piping, more tubing, more engine running, more stuff in general. Anyway, yeah, if you have any uh, comments as usual, just give, give me a shout and uh, let me know. Uh, obviously, need to get some uh, hose clamps soon. I've ordered some. Actually, I ordered some down there. The Mickler, 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 Mickler. Yeah, basically, there's T bolt clamps in here. Loads of them. And you know what? I ordered the wrong size. <laughs> yeah, I ordered um, 63 to 59 mil, and as it turns out, the tubes are just too big. Uh, I need to order 69 mil clamps. So that's my bad. I should have really thought that there'd be, well, giving it more tolerance. But hey, that's uh, completely my fault. The good news is, sorry, one second. <coughs> the good news is, is that they sent me rather than the W2 which I ordered, they sent me the W4s. Um, which means they are full stainless and they're quite expensive. So, they'll be going on eBay for £4-ish each, and I'll actually double my money. Actually, more than double my money, so that's fantastic. Um, so yeah, it turns out, actually, it wasn't a bad thing in the end. I actually got some money out of it. This requires me eBaying. <laughs> um, so there we are. A little update for you. Hopefully I have some more dates during the weekend. And yeah, keep safe, guys. And uh, yeah, give me a shout if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.